Hey guys, Hannes Linus here, and today I'm doing a Wrath of the Lamb playthrough, The Binding of Isaac. Um, so, if you haven't played this game, I really recommend it. It's probably one of my top five indie games. Um, so, big, big thanks to uh, Edmund McMillan and Florian Hismore for making this game. Um, you guys are absolute bosses. Um, uh, we don't need to watch the credits. Um, well, anyway, we probably will if if the um if the game is finished in this run. Um, so I am recording this pretty late, as you can, as this is probably going to be the first and only time. Well, as this is the um, uh, oh, I could probably just put a full screen. That's probably better. I hope that didn't mess up the recording or anything. Um, but yeah, um, I am recording this pretty late at night. I'm just really liking this game, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to explain more as we play. Um, so this is being recorded on, well, for me, it's the 1st of November, which for everybody in America, uh, South America, Canada, it should be a Halloween evening for you guys. Um, so I have... I'm mainly just recording this because this is a fun game that I like to play. It passes the time, and I recently had a, um, well, it wasn't really a bet, it was more of a challenge with one of my mates um, to see who could um, race to the final level first. Um, so, it is quite an interesting, it was an interesting challenge, and I did win that challenge. Um, I won it today because there's. Um, so if you haven't played The Binding of Isaac, I guess I'll have to give you the rundown before I talk more about this challenge that me and my friend did. Um, what Binding of Isaac is, is it's about the story of a, of a boy who lives with his mother and he, um, he is raised, raised by her on his own. He's allowed to play with his toys and whatnot. But um, he lives with his mother. His mother listens to Christian broadcasts, and she apparently is is um, told by God that Isaac has been corrupted by sin, and that he should be sacrificed as an act of um, loyalty to God. Um, so this is actually a play on the original Bible story where Abraham, uh, well, the Old Testament story, or for me. It's the first book of Moses, um, which is um, the story of how Isaac um, Isaac was to be sacrificed by his father Abraham, because Abraham made the promise, the pledge to God that he would never disobey a direct order. Um, so, this is sort of a play on it, and Isaac's mother goes so far as it as to separate him entirely from. Um, from any outside influence, so he can no longer be corrupted by sin. Um, but as this no longer works, um, uh, God instructs her to kill him. And the only way Isaac gets away is through a trapdoor in his bedroom floor, which leads him to uh, the first level in the Binding of Isaac. Um, so this does tell the story about how Isaac... Um, uh, sort of combat some of his greatest fears and um, all those things but the main aim of the game is to um, is to kill mum um, that was a bad choice um, never mind um, so on your first playthrough of the game your first aim is to kill mum and if you win that you win the first run. Um, I have beaten, I think it's, I don't know how many times, but, um, oh, we can check my stats later, but, um, the first aim is, is, well, that is the main overarching plot, is to kill mum. Um, but there's a bit of a deeper, deeper story to it afterwards, as, um, well, I've pretty much given you the basics. So now I'll just talk a little bit more about the gameplay itself. It kind of acts a bit like a roguelike of things. Um, you look around rooms, fight enemies, 
and you try and find items that help your progress because in Isaac's current state he would definitely not be able to win the battle against mum in just his current stats. It would be impossible and I don't, I don't know of anyone who has managed to do it. Um, of course, I, that's probably just a YouTube or a Google search away of who's done it. But it's probably, it's probably possible but very highly unlikely. Um, so, obviously, so there are, how many levels are there? It can depend, um, you can, you, I think the max number of levels you can have is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. 10 in the Wrath of the Lamb DLC, and I think it's 9 in the, um, 9 in the normal game. But if you're not, if you buy the normal game without the, the DLC for the Wrath of the Lamb, I don't know what you're doing, go and buy it, because it adds a F load of content. Um, so, oh, I don't know if I'm doing a good, a good job of explaining this, but it is, um, it's a very fun game, um, although I've probably said that multiple times already. And um, you can play as multiple characters as you saw from the um, from the screen, from the character select screen, um, and all of them have some sort of um, relevance to the old Bible stories. There's like characters like Eve, the first woman to commit sin, uh, Cain, who kills his brother in the second chapter of the uh, creation, uh, who was, they were Adam and Eve's sons, but Cain killed Abel. Um, who else is there? There's Mary Magdalene, who is either a very good friend of Jesus, or is his mother? I don't know. I don't know much about the New Testament, I don't know about the Old Testament. Um, so, yeah, it's... It's interesting that they um, they used like because it's one of those things that isn't always used that often by by people like they always they also use the Book of Revelation as you might have just seen in that last battle was famine which is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse in the Book of Revelation which is the last book of the Bible um, so there are the four horsemen of uh, Famine, pestilence, war, death. But there's also conquest, uh, which is the fifth horseman. Um, and as you can probably see from this, there is also the seven deadly sins have been are also introduced to the game. Um, so if you can list them with me: sloth, greed, envy, gluttony, um, wrath. Who else is there? Uh, pride. I can't remember who else there is. I think I've said them all. If I haven't, then you can comment them and slag me off that I forgot one or whatever. Um, but each of the seven sins has their own different powers. And it's funny, because some of them actually work well together. Like Sloth, as you can probably tell from this, is actually quite slow, which kind of reflects his nature that Sloth is extremely lazy. And that he's also... Um, giving out enemies, he's making enemies pop out to do his bidding for him. Of course he'll actually attack you, as you saw from the um, green bloodshots like that one. Um, but all of them actually work together at some point. Um, like Lust will always chase you, as that is the act of lust, how you always follow a certain person, or you lust after other people. Um, gluttony... Um, always drops heart pickups, which always shows that he probably eats a lot. So he always, and as they say, food always goes to the heart. Um, pride, obviously, pride is interesting um, because each, um, each, um, each sin has two levels. There's like the normal one, which was like that boss battle that was just done, but there's also a super form. Um, or more, more commonly known in the in the Binding of Isaac community as a champion. But then there is also for Pride, there is also Ultra Pride, which takes on the form of Edmund McMillan and Florian Hismal. And this is to do with, yeah, do, do with the pride they took in creating such a great game and the pride they felt when they finally completed it. Um, 
so what else is there? I did Wrath. Wrath? Wrath's head or is always shaking. So it's quite possible that he's always brimming with... Because another word for Wrath is rage or a, a simile. Um, so the... Um, it's like he's always boiling with rage and he always provides really powerful attacks, which are usually just he shoots bombs at you. Um, so that... So each, each seven dead, even every single one of the seven deadly sins is represented quite well, except for Envy, I'm pretty sure. Envy doesn't really represent that sin very well. Um, so it's not, it's not bad. Um, Envy, I'm not sure. Because Envy splits into multiple parts when you attack it. Um, I don't know. Envy... Uh, Envy's hard to describe. Because Envy splits into multiple parts when you kill it. Or when you attack it at first. Like, it's always one and then it'll go like to two, to four, to eight. Um, or however it's split, I can't remember. I don't... don't I just see enemies, I attack them. Um, so... One of the, um, so Envy is, I don't really have an answer for what Envy, Envy doesn't seem to have been, I guess it's hard to, to um, visualize Envy, although it might be because Envy always drops a bomb when you, like a troll bomb when you defeat him, or her, whichever one, it's usually a him, I'm just using full metal alchemist uh, genders, and Envy was a he in that, um, it's quite possible it's female in this. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's because Envy drops a bomb, so you um, so he's quite envious of your win, the fact that you've won over him. Um, so I don't know. I'm probably going to lose on this boss battle, which is kind of embarrassing, considering I beat the chest today. Um, but this is one of my least favourite bosses. Um, there's this one and there's also Bloat, which is a, a wound boss, or Udero boss. Um, but this is only, this is only Cellar 2, so you should be expecting the fact that all levels will take this long to complete, unless you're going for a speedrun. I'm usually one of those people who will explore every single room, or do as many as that, as I can. Um, so as you can see, on the top of the screen it has two crosses and a face, of like frowny face. Um... It shows how much progress and how many levels you still have to go. Okay, so this is interesting. So it just said Curse of the Labyrinth. This is because there is um there is a curse in effect. There are some other curses which pop up, like there's the Curse of Darkness, which shows that you cannot see the map. Um, the Curse of the Labyrinth. Um, actually, because I've I just did two levels. I've done two levels. Uh, it should have been basement and cellar, or maybe two basements, two cellars. But this one has merged, so it just says that XL in the bottom left hand corner. Um, this shows that it's um it's an extra large dungeon, which basically it's sort of it's melded together the two the the third and fourth level. Um so this also means there'll be uh, only one secret room which I teleported to while I was explaining envy. But there'll be two treasure rooms on this floor. Um which in a way is helpful, but I, it, it's good for speedruns because it means you um, you can you can skip uh, you can basically have, you can skip a floor. Um, uh, all right, I'll just talk about speedruns there. So um, I've recently seen a couple of um, speedruns of the Binding of Isaac. Now there's um there's a couple of different versions of speedruns that people have attempted to do in the Binding of Isaac. Um, the most popular one is speedrun to the chest or speedrun to the blue baby, which is the blue baby is technically the very last character you should be unlocking because I think you should have um, unlocked all the other characters before you unlock the blue baby. Um, oh God, now I've got to explain this. <laughs> 
Um, there's a lot of things to explain in The Binding of Isaac, and I doubt I'd be able to explain it all in one episode. Um, so I guess uh, this one will just focus on characters and whatnot, as I've already explained the main characters, except for the blue baby. I didn't cover all the characters anyway. Uh, Mr. Samson, the, um, Philistine, I think. All I know is he had superhuman, superhuman strength, and he... He lost it. He lost his powers when he cut his hair. So he, um, he, what he did is he killed all his enemies by collapsing a temple on them. So that's another one of the characters. But one of the other ones is the um, the blue baby, which I don't know what it is. Um, it kind of looks like Isaac. Well, technically, all the characters look like Isaac, which is which is correct because all the characters are Isaac in in dress up, literally. Um, but he has varying stats depending on who you play as. Um, but yeah, um, I forgot what I was about to say though because I just got on tangent. Tangent. Oh, yeah, that's right. The blue baby in speedruns. Um, so the blue baby you unlock after completing the. Um, it's not really the first stage, it's the second stage of game completion. So I'll explain it. The first stage of game completion is, um, killing mom for the first time. And then the second stage is when you go to the ones underneath the, um, Necropolis and Depths, which is the level after this one. Um, and if you defeat mom, that is technically your first run through of the game. In, in layman's terms, I guess, you can have plenty of different runs before you defeat Mom. But completing Mom is technically the first ending of the game. But after that, you have to, well, start again. And you start again from the top, from the basement and cellar, and you work your way back down again through all the different levels. Um, so, there are a lot of different... Well, oh, I keep getting mixed up. Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting. It's it's late, and I'll probably be cutting this episode short before I even finish this run through. Um, like this is also just a tester run for me. Um, see if it works. I should have taken the other one. Oh well. Oh, that's funny. What Isaac looks like now um, is what Wrath sort of looks like when you face him. I uh, probably should have picked up the ghost baby, but whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, Blue Baby again. I keep getting, I keep going on tangents. Uh, the Blue Baby, I think, is like Isaac, if he died in his chest in his room. Um, because the blue kind of represents the coldness of the chest, how there wouldn't be any oxygen. Which is also shown in a um, sort of a dream sequence, but like when I explained the rooms at first, when it showed Isaac crying on the floor, you might have seen there was also a sort of um, Isaac was either dreaming or thinking about something that happened in his past or something that he has nightmares about. Uh, one of the screenshots of that happening is Isaac being trapped in the chest, running out of oxygen, um, which might represent what happened to him if he stayed in that chest indefinitely. Um, so he would die, and he would lose all his body warmth, if that was the case, um, which would turn him into the blue baby. I'm just, this is speculation, I haven't looked up everything to do with the blue baby, and I don't know that much about it, um, but the blue baby is different, and is also the final boss of the chest, because that is where you find the blue baby. Um... Uh, I'm trying to recap. Okay, so, Blue Baby, I've done. Um, I've done all the characters. Um, well, yeah, I think this is... I was planning on just doing Let's Plays of this, of just, like, doing runs, seeing how fast I can do them. Um, but I think this might turn into a bit more like an information session, how I just pour out my knowledge on Binding of Isaac. And, of course... Some of it's probably going to be incorrect, or it's going to be different. Um, so after the blue baby, I taught speedruns, that's right. Um, so there's the chest, 
The chest is the final level of the game, and technically every room, like the ones that Isaac is standing in now, always has a, a boss in them. So you, you saw how I faced Gertie Jr. and Famine earlier. Those are technically boss classes. Um, so technically rooms in the chest are only bosses. So it is the hardest level in the game. Um, before that, so the, the first six levels are, they're not as hard and you only lose half hearts of damage from losing attacks unless you hit with the big blood ball which is, um, which is one heart of damage. I'm just vomiting information onto you guys, I'm sorry. Um, so I should be playing while I'm talking. Um, oh good, something easy. Although I'm probably going to die anyway. This is a, usually I don't talk when I do a, do a run through because I just find it a bit distracting. This is just a fun playthrough. Um, so um, yeah, so speed runs to the chest is the most popular kind of speed run. I consider there's probably three different kinds of speed runs. There is a speed run to kill Mum the first time, um, which is going through the first six levels of the game. Um, and if you beat Mum, obviously that's when you stop the timer. I haven't. I've seen a couple of speedruns who do that, um, but a, um, a majority of them go to the chest, which is technically the final ending of the game. Uh, la, 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 la. The second level, I think, is when you defeat Mum's heart or slash it lives in the womb or utero. Um, that would be the second level. The third level would be either killing. Isaac in, or defeating Isaac in Cathedral, or or Satan in um, uh, in Shell, and then the final final one is speed run to the chest, which is you defeat the blue baby, and I just died. Um, okay, yeah, that wasn't the best run through. I've done I've done a lot better. Um, but I think I've done a lot on, I've said a lot. I don't usually talk this much in my videos, as you guys know. Um, but that's probably where I'm going to wrap up my recording. Um, this will probably become a proper series for me. I enjoy playing this game quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I guess next episode... I don't know, I might cover items or something, because I, I covered pretty much a lot on characters and rooms, and also like some external stuff like speedruns. Um, but since we are in the, um, in the main menu, I'll show you the stats. Now a lot of this isn't accurate. Mum's, Mum's kills is accurate and items is accurate, but death is not, because usually sometimes if my run is not going so well, I just quit to the main menu. So that wouldn't technically count as a death. Those are the amount of death times I've actually died playing it like with that death screen. Um, and obviously these are all secrets that you find by completing certain things in the game. Um, so like that's unlocking the blue baby. Um, and so like there's 97 secrets. These are all the endings. So the epilogue is what you get after completing the first run through and kill mum. Ends one through nine, or not, or yeah. So ending one, one, two, four, five, six, four, five, seven, eight, all give you items. Ending three does not. Um, it reaches up, and it's like Mum's hand comes out of the chest, or whatever. I won't show you the endings. If you want the, if you want to see the endings, just show them. Um. I'll, sh I'll probably do them in a later video anyway. Um, ending 3, Mum grabs Isaac. Um, ending 6, um, I th no, I can't remember. I'm getting these all mixed up. I think ending 6, oh, I, need, I need to check all this stuff. Um, okay, so that was... Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So any one you unlock Judas, which is the um one of the um disciples of Jesus who ends up betraying him. Um, 
then you unlock a noose, which is the second ending. Uh, the nail is the third ending. Uh, what else is there? Four is the quarter. Um, and then five is the Dr. Fetus. Um, number six is everything is terrible, which is when, yeah, ending six is when mum reaches out and grabs Isaac. And that is when uh, champion monsters, or those, um, they are monsters, they're the same, but they are, like have extra health or they're stronger attacks or whatever, and they're tinted a certain color. Um, so those those types of monsters appear more regularly after that after this point after you defeat the game for the ending six. Uh, ending seven is money equals power. Um, I'll explain these all later another time. Uh, ending money equals power. Now from hang on. Oh yeah, then it's the wafer, I think. Yeah, okay. So then ending 8 is the wafer, and then ending 9 is it lives, um, which is permanently replaces the mom's heart boss. Um, after this point, you can no longer face mom's boss, mom's heart again. You can face mom, but not mom's heart. Um, then you, your ending 10 is... You unlock the blue baby, uh, then ending 11, um, okay, well the final ones are different, ending, uh, ending 11 is the shoal ending, I think, which, um, is what happens when you defeat Satan, for the first time you unlock ending 11. Ending 12, you unlock by defeating Isaac in Cathedral. And ending 13, which is the final one, also an unlucky number, is when you defeat the Blue Baby in the chest. Um, that unlocks all the, that's all the endings. I'll probably show them all in a separate video. I won't do them now because I'm really racking up time. Um, but this was my first episode of The Binding of Isaac, uh, Wrath of the Lamb. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about in these videos, leave a comment, um, say what you want me to do, or give me a certain challenge. Um, speaking of which, I haven't done many of the challenges. I've done one, two, and th uh, three, six, and eight. I haven't done any of the others yet. Um, but if you want me to do a certain challenge in these videos, feel free to comment them down below. Or if you want me to do a certain character, like it might be Isaac, Samson, Blue Baby, Eve, Judas, Cain, Magdalene, um, just suggest it. Um, and I'll see how far I can go, or if maybe there might be limitations, whatever. If it's a damage item, you can't pick it up, you can't use the dice to re-roll, you can't use any of these items. I'll take on the challenges. Um, but until next time, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.